Hello, and welcome back to another episode of using your Thinkific site as a website. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you some befores and afters of a website that we revamped. So uh, this client came to us and she had uh, had a basically her Thinkific site built out as a website. When I looked at it, I said to her, I think there's some issues here and uh, I think we can fix them. It was a lot to do with the buyer journey. It was taking a lot of clicks to get people where they wanted to go. Um, the design was not very clean in my opinion. And uh, so we just wanted to give her a better version of her website. So I'm going to show you some before and afters and um, how it ended up. Okay, so this was the homepage before we revamped it. Now, this client offers counseling uh, online and in person, um, different customized workshops, uh, this uh, lead generation course that she's created, this mini course. And so when I looked at this homepage, I thought, mm, yeah, it's very focused on counseling. In fact, there's no links to anything else except to book an appointment for counseling, except that she has all of these other offerings that she wanted to bring to the forefront. So this is the new homepage that we created. Um, this is her main business counseling for lawyers, but this, this is all the different ways in which she does that. So this is just a little sort of blurb about what she does. And then we drop down to here's how we can help. So counseling, and they can click here to book an appointment. Customized workshops and webinars, they can click here to see them. This is on demand and live training, view learning opportunities. And then we've got a link here to free resources and one to her blog as well. Also, we've got this really great video on the homepage that allows people to meet her. And from there, they can learn more. So they would go over to the about page or to the contact page to get in touch. Then we've got the social proof logos and the acknowledgement. So you can see the look is cleaner, but the navigation is also better because we quickly get them, the visitor, to where they want to go, not just give them the one option, which was counseling. You'll also notice at the top here that this Thinkific site has a different navigation bar than what you would normally see. This is a power up, one of Rob Galvin's super power ups, and you can just Google superpowerups.com. Um, and so we've used a lot of power ups on this site here. This allows us this particular power, power up called Mega Nav allows us to create drop downs and have a more robust um, navigation menu than just regular Thinkific default uh, menu bar here. Okay, the next page that I was concerned about was the workshops page. So this is the before workshops page. Uh, this basically leads over to a second page which is this one here. And it's very text heavy. There's no sort of visuals to uh, make it more engaging and human. Uh, there's also no way for anyone to contact her if they wanted to book one of these websites. Uh, and as far as the coming soon, like it's pretty boring. It's not really um, gonna pull someone in and make me go, oh yeah, that's something I really want. So that's linked from this workshops page. So there's this original workshops page, which has links out to other pages. So again, click, 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 click to try and get them where we want them to go. Uh, there's also a third part to this. This was the uh, coming soon page. And this unfortunately just used Thinkific's lead capture tool, which doesn't connect to an email service provider. They're basically, these emails are just held in Thinkific and they don't, the, the person who puts their information in doesn't get any kind of email, uh, no nurture sequence, anything like that. So there was better ways to be able to do this. So we took all three pages, added the, basically combined those into one very clean page, easy to navigate, much more engaging. Um, so let me show you here. So this is our customized webinars and workshops page. Again, just a little intro to what these are. And then right here, you've got the different options. So there's eight currently listed. And if we click on any of them, it will take them down here, down further on the page to that particular workshop. So you'll see each of the workshops have an image that goes along with them. And at the bottom of the description for each of the workshops, there's an inquire about workshops button. 
And that takes people down to the bottom of the page where they can actually put in a website or workshop inquiry. We've just used a tally form for this and embedded it on here. So when someone fills this out, it will go through to the client's email and they'll be able to respond. Now, there's also another section on the page here, which is coming soon. So you'll remember on the previous coming soon page, this is basically how it was laid out. This is the new coming soon page and again very much more engaging right and we can we can hover over each of these and at the top it says get notified if they click on get notified they skip down and this is a convert kit form that we've embedded on here so it goes directly into her email marketing they get on her email list they are sent a confirmation message letting them know that uh, yes, they'll be the first to get notified. And it also gives her a chance to nurture them through a sequence of emails. So we took all those three pages before, cleaned it up, added the right contact forms, and um, this is what it looks like now. Now we actually rebuilt all of our pages, including the blog, which is now a drop-in. So drop-in blog is the app that we use for this one here. So it's got a really nice layout of a blog uh, right on her Thinkific site. She's got some recommended reason, reading and online resources. So it's very easy for people to find what they're looking for, be able to navigate it and get to where they need to go quickly and easily. Every single page has one primary CTA call to action. So on this um, about page, the call to action is contact us, which goes over to the contact page. And again, there's a form that goes straight through to her um, so that she can be in touch with, with whoever might have an inquiry for her. So if you're a student or a client of mine, you'll often hear me say that marketing is about testing and tweaking, testing and tweaking. However, you don't want to put something up on your um, site as far as pages go that are going to confuse visitors, turn them away from your page, not keep them there and get them enrolled in that course or get them to that um, call to action, whether it's a form you want them to fill out or an enrollment in a course. You want to get them there as expeditiously as possible. So can Thinkific be used as a website? Absolutely, there's a perfect example that I just showed you there. If you'd like to make Thinkific your primary website and you'd like our help, click the link in the description below and get in touch.